this is just an example over here. So assume a teacher wants to input a final exam mark for each of the 30 students in her class, right? She wants this program to be made at the beginning of the year. Okay, so she wants a programmer to come in and say, um, I want a program that prompts me to input each of the student grades and it will store each of these grades inside of a file, text file. The program will say, okay, how many students do you have in your class, right? And she'll say, okay, I have 30 students in my class. I'm going to assume that they're all going to write the exam. I'm going to assume that none of them are going to drop out. None of them are going to whatever. None of them are going to quit, you know? So what the program will do is the program will create an integer to hold each of these exam marks. She assumes that there will be 30 kids writing the exam. She assumes none of them will be dropping out of the class. So we will make in a, an array, right? This array will hold 30 students. So int, okay, int exam mark 30. Okay, you allocate three grades. Then three weeks before the exam, half of her class drops out. Five of those remaining students don't show up on the exam day. Okay, so we're fast forwarding right now. We're at the exam day. And now what happens here? This results in roughly 20 students not having the exam mark at all. So why would we allocate memory to hold the marks for 30 students when half of them drop out by a half weight or whatever and five of them don't write the exam. What's the point? We can't just assume that there's 30 students um, that are going to write the exam if there's 30 students at the, at the beginning of the year. right? We can't just assume that when in reality only 10 of them will write the exam. So if she has only five kids or 10 kids write the exam, she'll have to go through 30 prompts. She'll have to go through 30 prompts because she'll have to fulfill the array. The array we specified is 30, so she'll have to be putting in, uh, what, 20 null values? We can allocate memory, right, so we can ask the teacher to input how many students dropped out or how many students are actually writing the exam, and then we can allocate the memory right away at that time during the runtime. So let's get into this. So first of all, let's make an integer to hold the number of students, okay? And next, we'll have to create an array to hold the students of a class according to how many she has, right? So, I want to do this. Okay, we create this empty array here, this pointer to an empty array, because we don't know how much memory to allocate. We don't have many students there in the class um, at compile time, but at runtime we will, because we'll ask the teacher how many students are in the class. And then, once we know this number of students, we can allocate as much memory as needed. So that's just an empty null pointer to a future array. Okay. Comparing to a normal array, if you look at a normal array we have right if we knew the number of students in the class, say there were ten, we know how much memory to allocate, right? But we don't know how much memory to allocate, we have to make a pointer to this instance in memory and then allocate it afterwards. But we don't know how much memory to allocate, therefore this is invalid. And therefore, we're back to the beginning. Therefore, we thus have to give it a pointer, point to it, and then we must give it a null value just to be on the safe side. That's that. Next, so the couts, enter the number of students, right? C in. Number of students. So we'll see in the number of students, and then once we know the number of students, we will dynamically allocate memory according to the number of students towards this array. Okay? So we're linking back to this array that we made before. So we'll do this by just doing students. So name of the array is equal to new. It's an array integer. So an integer array, so int and number of students. Okay, so number of students, we ask the uh, user how many students there are, right? We see in that number, it's allocated, right? And uh, we can make a loop to input each of the student names, uh, the student numbers. So four, whatever, int x equals zero, x is less than number of students, right? X plus plus. So 
So we output to the user, enter the student grade, and then we input the student grade at the x value. x will run until it is equal to the number of students, right? So next, we can simply output Right, can output the students at X. And then once we allocate the memory over here, this is the memory allocation over here. This creates a pointer basically to a future array and it nullifies the value. We um, over here is creating the memory allocation. Okay, so we allocate an integer array because we have these two square brackets which indicates an integer array. Have the name over here. And then uh, we input the grades.